We were always told that milk is good for our bones, that carbohydrates make us fat, that eggs are bad for us, and that we should always buy organic food. What if we told you that this is all a huge myth? Stay tuned to find out the real truth about pineapples. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button to never miss another video, and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Now, let's debunk some food myths. Carbohydrates make you fat. Let's start with a myth that's often practiced by people in the fitness industry. Carbohydrates always get a bad reputation and are always a topic that sparks an interesting debate when it comes to weight loss. The truth is, eating carbohydrates will not make you fat as they're essential to our diets. The myth first appeared in the popular Atkins diet, which is known to focus on eating low carbs to achieve weight loss. However, carbohydrates come from a broad category of macronutrients and you can find many types of carbs in our diet. These include sugar, starch, and fiber, and the quantity and quality of each has a different effect on your weight gain or weight loss. For example, you should always consume enough carbohydrates, which include fiber to maintain a healthy digestive system and metabolism. Cutting out carbohydrates from your diet can result in a nutritional deficiency if you fail to substitute them with alternatives. But completely replacing carbohydrates with fats can increase the amount of cholesterol in your body and put you at risk of heart disease. So while carbohydrates don't make you fat, you should always balance it out with other nutritional foods. It's recommended that at least one third of our diet includes carbohydrates, and these come from any starchy foods such as potatoes, bread, rice, and pasta. Balance them with fruits, vegetables, and protein, and you're guaranteed to reach your long-term health goals. Microwaving destroys the nutrients. You've probably heard of this one before. Some people claim that the radiation from the microwave can completely destroy the nutritional and health benefits of cooked food. The truth is, it's completely safe for you to cook food in a microwave since it uses less heat than any other conventional cooking method. Cornell University did a study of some of the most water-soluble vitamins like folic acid, vitamins B and C to see the effects the microwave heat has on nutritional benefits. According to the studies, the spinach, which was cooked in a microwave, retains nearly all of its vitamin B but lost 77% of the nutritional benefits when cooked on a stove. They also discovered that conventionally cooked bacon has higher levels of cancer causing chemical compounds than bacon cooked in a microwave. It's also been reported that adding water to cooked vegetables can cause a significant loss of antioxidants as opposed to cooking vegetables in a microwave. In some cases, using a microwave can even enhance the nutrition of food. If you microwave carrots and tomatoes, you're enhancing the red pigmentation that protects our health. If you microwave eggs, you're also making the vitamin H more digestible and speed up the conversion of food into energy. So go on, microwave your food. We promise your health won't be affected by it. Peanuts grow on trees, but it's not all about nutrition. In this video, we'll also debunk some myths about where your food actually comes from. Keep on watching to learn a surprising fact about pineapples. But first, let's debunk the belief that peanuts are grown on trees just like any other nuts out there. Unlike walnuts or pecans, peanuts don't actually grow on trees. In fact, it's quite surprising to find out they're a part of the legume family where you can also find beans, lentils, and peas. This also means that they grow from underground. They might look like regular 18-inch plants with oval-shaped leaves, but under the ground, these plants actually develop their fruit, in this case, peanuts. The growing cycle of peanuts also significantly differentiates from other nuts. It takes five to seven years to grow a walnut tree before it's suitable for harvesting. Meanwhile, peanuts can be planted and harvested in just four to five months. Peanut plants also develop yellow-looking flowers 40 days after the initial plantation. Once the petals fall off and the plant begins to form a stem, which results in a peanut, it's ready to be harvested. Then they get dried for two or three days, stored and placed on peanut wagons. This is what a field full of peanut plants actually looks like. There are no nut trees in sight. You can detox your body. With the rising popularity of juice cleanses, there are now millions of detox diet plans available that claim they help you reach your weight loss goals. The truth is, those plans are largely a selling scam. You don't need to detox your body to reset it as it has its own detoxification functions. You don't need any cleanses or special products that will help you get rid of bodily toxins. Here's how your liver is the best detox tool for your body. Your liver is powerful enough to prevent viruses from entering your bloodstream and it filters any sort of environmental toxins and excess nitrogen. Your kidneys also hold a powerful function by removing extra toxins and excess water 
water from your blood. These processes are happening every single day and are powerful on their own. So why does juicing or doing a body cleanse actually help you lose weight? The answer is pretty simple. It's because you're not eating, not because any actual detox is happening in your body. The lack of fiber along with the caloric and nutritional intake from detox diets could also lead to fatigue, dizziness, and serious muscle tissue breakdown in the long term. All you have to do is eat a balanced diet and let your liver and kidneys do the rest. Skipping breakfast contributes to weight loss. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but diets like paleo claim that skipping breakfast contributes to weight loss and a healthier lifestyle. At the same time, breakfast has also been highlighted as one of the most contributing meals when it comes to weight loss. The truth is, breakfast alone will have very little effect on your weight loss. However, studies which looked at data of thousands of people who have lost weight and kept it off for at least a year show that 80% of people reported regularly eating breakfast to achieve their goals. There is no reported difference between the energy intake in those who eat breakfast and those who prefer to skip it to reach their weight loss goals. However, it has been reported that consuming food early in the morning gave people a slightly better advantage when it came to increased physical activity. This theory was confirmed by a four-month-long high-quality study that reported absolutely no health difference between people who eat breakfast and those who don't. The truth is, our bodies produce a hormone called cortisol, which maintains our blood sugars as we wake up. This is also a reason why some of us never get hungry first thing in the morning, and that's completely okay. So if you're used to skipping breakfast, you can continue to do so. And if not, keep enjoying it. Never use wooden cutting boards with meat. You might not pay attention to this food myth if you're not a big cook, but if you're a huge foodie, you've probably heard that you should never use wooden cutting boards with meat. Some believe that wooden cutting boards contain more bacteria than plastic boards as those are easier to be cleaned. However, food scientists debunked this myth and noted there's no antibacterial benefit to using a plastic board over a wooden one. You've probably seen plastic boards advertised as antibacterial before, right? The truth is, that's just another marketing scam that doesn't hold much value. A food researcher tested this theory with 10 wooden cutting boards and 14 different plastic polymers and came to a conclusion that neither Neither is more preventive than the other. Rather than purchasing a specific material to make sure your food is bacteria free, you should always make sure you disinfect the cutting board after each use. However, there is a benefit to plastic cutting boards over solid wood. You can easily stick the plastic ones in a dishwasher, while the wooden board might crack open, which makes it even harder to clean. To disinfect the boards, use a sanitizing solution like chlorine bleach and then rinse with water. This is also recommended to keep the meat and vegetables on separate cutting boards to avoid cross-contamination. Milk is good for healthy bones. Drinking milk will keep your bones strong. If you've ever purchased a milk carton, you know the message is frequently displayed on every product that claims it's full of calcium. We're told that drinking milk is extremely important for healthy bones throughout our childhood, but just how much truth is there to that statement? The claim largely comes from a marketing strategy, which is exactly why you can find this supposed benefit mentioned directly on a dairy product like milk. But recent studies which collected data Data from over 100,000 milk drinking men and women suggested that there aren't any reports showing dairy is actually responsible for stronger bones. While it's true that calcium is responsible for keeping our bones healthy and strong, consuming dairy like milk can cause many other health problems that negate the initial benefit. Drinking milk has also been a subject of frequent causes of lactose intolerance, as scientists point out that the amount of sugar, protein, and essentially lactose make it harder for us to digest the elements and cause metabolism issues. You can also receive an equivalent calcium dosage, along with plenty other nutritional benefits if you consume enough dark leafy greens, salmon, tuna, catfish, almond butter, and cheese. Alternatives to milk such as nut or rice milk are also highly recommended for those who find it extremely hard to digest regular cow's milk. Eating eggs will increase your cholesterol levels. How do you like your eggs? Poached, scrambled, or sunny side up? How many of you have stopped eating eggs after you heard that they could increase your cholesterol levels and put you in a bigger risk of heart disease? A study with over 100,000 people found that up to one egg per day is not associated with increased heart disease risk in individuals who are already consuming a healthy diet. And although eggs are actually high in cholesterol, they come with plenty of nutritional benefits that may help lower the risk of heart disease. 
Eggs also come with a very low amount of monosaturated and polyunsaturated fat, which is still healthier than some of the other types. On top of that, it has been reported that dietary cholesterol and cholesterol found in blood are only weakly related. It's pretty safe to assume that unless you eat two eggs for breakfast every single day, enjoying eggs in the morning will not put you in any kind of health risk. The research conducted also showed that for most people, the mix of consumed fats from other foods still had a bigger effect on blood levels than a regular egg consumption. So go ahead, treat yourself to some eggs in the morning. You can make them even healthier by not frying them in butter and trying a poached egg recipe instead. Organic food is healthy. Organic is a label you often see put on various foods. It's automatically assumed that your food is healthy and high quality, but that's not always the case. In fact, the word organic has often been considered as a marketing fad that tricks people into buying unnecessarily expensive food items. Eating organic food won't make you healthier. If you consume organic snacks like cookies, chips, or any kind of candy, it still holds the same amount of sugar, fat, and empty calories that add to weight gain. Studies have also found that there are no no reported nutritional differences between eating organic and non-organic food. When it comes to animals being raised organically, studies have also reported no significant differences between pigs raised on conventional or organic farms. In fact, pigs who had access to larger open areas were more exposed to their load of parasites, pathogens, and predators. And yet, a Nielsen study showed that more than 50% of consumers are willing to purchase organic if it meant avoiding toxins. While scientists are still unsure whether whether organic food comes from any real benefits, one thing is for certain. Organic farms still hold plenty of environmental benefits and build a healthy land. So while the food might not be healthier for you, it's definitely healthier for the planet. Pineapples grow on trees. Do you know where pineapples actually come from? A common belief is that you can find and harvest pineapples from trees, but that is completely false. Google a pineapple tree and see what this so-called tree actually looks like. The delicious fruit grows on the ground and comes from a leafy plant and looks pretty awesome. The stem is surrounded by sword-like leaves which grow up to 5 feet, which is very impressive. Once the plant starts growing flowers, those flowers produce a single fruit, known as a pineapple. And did you know pineapples aren't really grown from seeds? After you pick a ripe pineapple, the mother plant will produce a sucker, also known as a ratoon, from the main stem that can easily produce new plants if replanted. You can move these suckers to a new pot and they'll become a mother plant. However, unlike the original pineapple flower, the suckers are only able to produce a single pineapple fruit. How awesome is that? One mother plant can fruit three times during their lifetime before it has to be replanted, although the edible quality of the last pineapple will probably decrease. The entire plantation process can take up to two years, and the best part is you can totally plant pineapples indoors. Suddenly, we really want to plant our own pineapples. That's it for 10 myths about food you still believe. For more videos like this one, check out 10 foods you'll never buy again after knowing how they are made. See you next time.